everyone, and welcome to our video on unclaimed property topics. I'm Lori Donna Fannenbecker, a partner at PwC's Abandoned Unclaimed Property Practice, and I have Pete Billows with me today, a senior manager in our practice. Today, we'll be discussing how to evaluate and remediate unclaimed property liabilities and some multi-state trends in legislation. You can find our latest newsletter on our website. And Pete, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Lori. I'm happy to be here and share insights with our client alumni. Great. So what are some common types of unclaimed property, Pete, that create challenges for uh, companies and our clients? So some common types of unclaimed property are typically, you know, you're looking at your vendor checks, your payroll checks, and your age customer credits. Now, these are the most familiar uh, types of unclaimed property to businesses, but most companies or a lot of companies just don't know how the states examine these types of properties under audit. Uh, so states may look at the transactions and they may look at documentation to see if property is actually owed to the owner or if it's an actual error or maybe even a write-off. Uh, states may also have different dormancy periods reporting rules, but this would really be dependent upon, you know, the company's state of incorporation and the owner's last known address. And uh, how can companies evaluate and quantify their unclaimed property exposure, Pete, uh, especially for uh, companies that have multiple entities or have acquired entities? So what companies need to do, they need to review their books and records and identify any gaps that they may, they may have in their reporting process. And this would be dependent upon, you know, the number of entities that the company has, the number of entities that they might have recently acquired, the number of entities, you know, and, and especially the type of properties that they're reporting. Uh, they also want to look to, you know, update their compliance procedures. Um, and if they don't have compliance procedures or any type of policies and procedures as it relates to unclaimed property, they need to create them. And if they have them, they should see when the last time they were updated. Generally speaking, if they haven't been updated within the last five years, we would highly recommend that they go back and review their policies and procedures and update them as such. Great. And what would you say are some best practices for, uh, for an unclaimed property compliance program? So some of the best practices is, you know, cl have clearly defined roles and responsibilities for every member on your team, dependent upon, you know, if you have accounts payables and you're reporting payables and receivables and payroll, have a separate person uh, or two within each of those areas with their own clearly defined roles. And then they would report up to some other person, such as, you know, uh, the head of compliance and work with that person uh, to, you know, have those properties reported. Uh, into their unclaimed property software, and then the head of compliance would then be responsible for having that property reported to the state. One other thing that we always want to make sure is that, you know, if you have any written confirmation from vendors or customers showing that the property is owed or is not owed, save, save, save that written confirmation. Make sure you save that information for future audit purposes. Thank you, Pete. This was uh, very helpful. Do you have any final remarks for us today? Just make sure you stay up to date. Uh, these, you know, state unclaimed property legislation is constantly changing. And, you know, a lot of times legislation changes, it may not take effect right away. So you want to stay up to date on that. One other thing that we really want our viewers to know about is that Delaware recently sent out and they're going to continue to do so. Uh, what's called verified report notices. So for more information on the verified report notices, please visit our website. Uh, enjoy reading our newsletters. We will continue to notify you as they are uh, put out. Uh, and if you have any questions, please don't ever hesitate to contact Lori, contact myself, or any other of our other colleagues in the unclaimed property practice, and we'd be happy to help you with any questions that you may have. Great. Thank you, Pete. And thank you, everyone, for watching today. We hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for our next unclaimed property video. Goodbye and take care.